Uh, this is some hair extensions that have kindly been gifted by uh, Goo Goo Hair. Uh, as I didn't need hair extensions, I've passed them on to my friend Sandy, who loves hair extensions. Um, as you can see, when they arrive, th this is how they are when they come out of the box. It, there was about seven or eight pieces of hair that are all on a clip on, clip on which are supposedly easy to get in the hair. Um, we both had a try at putting them in Sandy's hair. And for our first attempt, it wasn't so bad. Um, she, she does have a thin area on her hair that she wanted to cover up and it did it absolutely perfectly. Uh, we, it was quite easy to clip them in, although we do think we'll get a lot better. The, these are the full hair extensions when you see them in. I don't think she actually had all of them in. Um, they did. They, I mean, obviously, she's thinking that she's going to have it cut into a style. Uh, her daughter's a really good hairdresser, so I'm sure she'll cut them into a style for her. Um, but anyway, um, she did. She tried various ways of using them. She tied them back. As you can see, really, really good. Here she is, uh, <laughs> acting silly as usual, my friend Sandy. <laughs> as you can see, um, they do they do look really, really, reminded me of Marianne Faithful, actually, when I saw with these long tresses. Anyway, they are going to, she is going to have them cut mainly, probably into a bob or something. <laughs> She's being silly, as usual. Um you can see that they are they are really good quality. You can tell that they're real hair. She was really pleased with them, or she is really pleased with them, should I say? There will be a discount code Don't in all the nice. details in the description box. Um, I'll put them in later. <laughs> they do really suit her, actually. When she's had them styled, I will, I will um, try and film her again and then you can see what they do look like. But for our first attempt at putting them in, we thought these were really good. <laughs> there she is again, acting silly. She did try tying them back and it looked really good like that and then pinned them up. They did look really nice. They are exceptionally good quality. Look there, can you see she's tied it back? Doesn't it look like her hair? It's amazing. I think she's trying another style now. You can just see underneath the length of her actual hair. Anyway, Goo Goo... A hair extension. If you want some fabulous hair extensions, details will be in the description box. Hi, everybody. I'm coming on today um, with. Well, this is the second video today. I've just before that done the fly curvy haul, and I thought, well, I'm trying clothes on, and <laughs> I'll do the and getting messed up. I'll um, do the Marks and Spencers haul because I am a bit behind with my videos. Um, so I've got a Marks and Spencers dress haul. Now I've ordered all these and paid for them myself, but I only intend to keep one dress. I've ordered four dresses. Um, they have got some lovely dresses in their range at the moment. And I bought one last year and I wore it so much, um, a green and black one, that I thought I'd choose another one this year. So anyway, this is the first dress. Um, I haven't steamed it and it is quite creased. I don't know that you can see the skirt. It is quite creased, but it is a good length and it does feel warm. But can you see? I'm not very good at doing these long, um, long dress videos. I'm not really sure how to do them. I need some filming lessons. Um, I'm not keen on the buttons because I've got a big boss and I know that they will gape. Often with Marks and Spencers, they put a little inside button, but this one hasn't got one. Um, so let me know what you think, but I think personally I will be sending this dress back. Um, it's a lovely print. 
and it's a lovely like a slaty almost like a, a, a deep bluebell blue uh, with black flowers on they are very stylish i do like i do like a lot of their dresses i mean at one time they really went off the boil but i think they're coming a bit back now um so let's hope they continue right this is dress number one i'll move on to dress number two right this is dress number two now i love the fabric of this um this is button but the buttons seem more secure on this one and i love the color now i thought it was pink and black but i think it's pink and navy uh, i'll just go over here and show you now i couldn't get this in an 18 so i ordered a 16 so let me know what you think it to me it feels all right but i don't know what everybody else thinks I'll see if I can tilt you down a bit so you can see the bottom of the dress. I'm probably better showing it in my mirror like I used to. I was trying to be clever not doing it in the mirror. I may take it off uh, here and just show you a bit in the mirror. There, you can see the dress better from there. It's got these, I don't know that you can see, um, maybe if I get a bit nearer. It's like a tie that comes around the middle and ties at the front. So I think that's quite good for hiding your stomach, you know. I do really like this. Everybody else thinks I'm not too high neck. I probably would try and do something with that. Can you see? But I do like this material. And I think this one was $39.99. I'll just check. I'll have to have a look at the tab after. I'll look at the tab and show it here. Right, dress number two was £45. And this is dress number three. And this is £45. But it does feel a little big. Um... I might like it better in a smaller size. Can you see? It feels a little big. I perhaps should have got a 16 in this. It's difficult to know what size, you know, to get. But let me know what you think. I'll show you the fabric. It's like, well, a bit like it's, it's not an animal print, but it's got that animal print vibe to it. Um... I think the sleeves are a little bit big, you know, a bit voluminous. And it's not flattering for me in this stomach area. Um, so I'm not too keen on this one. So this will be going back, but you can tell me what you think. You might love for me. Right, so this is a final dress. It's in like um, a turquoise colour and black. And I think this is my favourite dress. But let me know what you think. What do you think about £45? I think that must be the standard price for Marks and Spencer's dresses. I do like length because I've got like broken veins on the front of my leg, which I'm having lasered at the moment, but I haven't really seen a great deal of difference yet. So, because I'm very conscious of them. Um, so I don't know whether it takes a few times, you know, just not sure about this waist here, whether it adds bulk, you know, think. Um, I do like this dress though. I'm going to put you back on the tripod now because my hand's aching with holding this. Right, I'm back. I've made a right mess of my hair trying all those clothes on. Oh, I need to put you down here. right i'm back <laughs> so let me know which dress you like the best um i my personal favorites are between the pink and navy and this one um i'm not sure if the size 16 didn't fit me better this is an 18 let me know what you think of the sizing on this i think this is all right at an 18 um the the 45 pound the dresses um which they said everything's going up in price, isn't it? I'm sure there were only like 30 of most of them last year. 
but you know i i did get a lot of wear out of the marks and spencer's dresses i got a couple i got one in the sale and then one i paid full price on i did get a lot of wear out of them through the winter uh, you know with a cardigan um you know i need to get a long black cardigan or something you know they will they will look okay look at the mess i've made of my hair i'm going well what it is this afternoon um it's like my you know my sister-in-law died well um it's like um internment this afternoon we're going to bury our ashes with a mum and dad which will be quite sad but it's a final resting place um so it'll be nice you know i'm sure you know it'll be poignant um so i've got that so look at my hair not that anybody's going to look at my hair but um so and tomorrow sandy and i are off to liverpool so hopefully we'll do a vlog on that <laughs> see how that goes so um i know somebody's told us about the baltic market um i don't know if any of you got any opinions on that because we did think we might try and find it not too sure how to find it um because i don't think our train's till 10 so we're probably not going to be getting in liverpool till just after 11 i'm not sure how long the train takes we love liverpool it's one of our favorite days out you know so and then I've got an exciting day out in November, uh, which I'm really excited about with my sister-in-law, or my other sister-in-law. Um, we're going to, um, oh God, I can't think of the name now. <laughs> my mind's going right. We're going to the Christmas markets at, um, you know where they filmed um, Pride and Prejudice? Can't think what it's called now. It'll come to me. But, but we're going there anyway, so um, I keep wanting to say uh, the wrong thing. <laughs> so <laughs> it'll come back to me and I'll tell you on the next video. <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot really, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to go because I've got to tidy up here because I've made a mess. And there's plastic bags all over the floor and I'll have to sort myself out. So hope to see you soon. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please do. Um, I know I say that every time, but I am really grateful for all my subscribers. Uh, and it's so exciting when you get a few more, you know, you think you might be doing something right. <laughs> so anyway, bye for now. See you soon. I've just tied the belt at the back, which I think looks a lot better. I wasn't keen on that belt round there. Um, I don't know whether I, the waist is a bit funny, but tell me what you think. I do like this dress, though.